Hey guys, today we're talking about nutrition foundations. So these are simple things, but don't mistake simple for ineffective. Simple is what's needed to reach your goals. You have to master these things before you start adding too much complexity to it. We see it all the time. People want to know, is this diet better? Or is this, should I be eating this specific food or this or that? When they haven't even mastered the basics of nutrition and mainly the behavior around nutrition as well. So if you don't have that, if you can't, stay motivated and find your reason for why you're doing it and stick to these basic behavior changes. It doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter if you find the perfect food or the perfect diet because it's not going to last. So the three things we're going to go over today for these three foundations we're talking about as it relates to some nutrition basics. The first one, avoid foods and triggers that keep you from reaching your goals. So I don't think I have to overcomplicate this one too much. There's a lot of things that go into it, but you probably know what foods and what triggers are not serving you or helping you reach your goals. Some common food intolerances or things that tend to do that are things high in carbs and fat. So sugary fat things, uh, dairy products, gluten, some of these processed foods, those things, and while it's not that you can never have those, but they probably don't need to be in your daily nutrition. Second is triggers along with that. So the triggers would be anything that when I'm stressed, I reach for this. Every time I sit down at my desk, I have a snack there, I eat this. Those are some triggers you want to start to identify that might not be helping you reach your goals. So you want to replace those things with healthy alternatives. And that brings us into our second point, is eat for quality over quantity. Now, quantity is super important, especially if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to do those things. We don't want to ignore quantity, but we want the focus to be on quality. So when we focus on quality, whole foods, unprocessed, things that provide nutrients, high quality foods, these things will leave you more satisfied, it'll prevent some of those cravings, and a lot of those quantity things tend to take care of themselves. If you're reaching for more processed foods, lower quality foods, then we tend to overeat those foods as well. So focus on quality over the quantity. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is small changes. Don't try and hit home runs, don't try and revamp your whole thing in one day. Better is better than perfect. We're not after perfect. We're not chasing the absolute perfect diet. You're trying to make these small improvements over time, which lead to big results after days, weeks, months of consistency with it. So small habit changes. Think instead of bag of potato chips, veggies, instead of ordering a, a burger, you take out the bun on it. These small changes over time, they seem small, but when you build momentum with that, incredible progress is soon to follow. So focus on those main foundations, try those out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We'll talk to you soon.